car game model, you want to be this, you want to be a successful one. But the thing is, you don't know how lonely it is at the top. And not only that, the people that work with you are constantly telling you that you need to be a better person and that you're the horrible person. Constantly, on a daily basis, I'm sick and tired. I'm done. If I do commit suicide, know that I commit suicide because of you, motherfucker, that I am here. I'm done with this shit. I can't do it. That was a little bit, that was just like a little sad and everything. Wow. What's up YouTube? This is your girl NJ and I'm back to the beginning. If you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, what are you waiting for? Again, my logo is if you love me, subscribe. If you hate me, subscribe or not. Anyway, so today I'm going to be talking about Ajak Deng, who is one of the top Sudanese models, supermodel here um, from the in the United States. She's actually from Australia, originally from South Sudan. I am South Sudan. Shout out! But um, I actually also follow her on Instagram. A couple days ago she posted on her uh, Insta story and I just feel the need that I need to talk about this because a lot a lot of girls like me or girls or women of the same shade as me uh, seems to be going through this and it's like we talk about it so much we 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 let people know about it but most people would just be like oh that's not true and blah 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 you're lying why are you always talking about this you know and it just becomes to a point like it's just like what else can we do and yeah like let, we're gonna talk about it uh, about it, it color about colorism in the you know in the modeling industry and stuff like that i have gone uh, a bit uh through it but not as extensive as a jack who is in the new york new york industry in the modeling industry i mean in new york and i know it's very cutthroat over there and it's actually even harder for a darker skin tone woman uh like me a, a, a example and you know it's still a struggle until this day um yes we have the faces of fashion now but it's like it's like a, it's like a pepper in a, a spring I mean it's I don't know how to describe it what I'm saying is like each agency always find like maybe two three models uh, that they want to represent that are dark skin but then they will have variety variety and endless endless varieties of different skin tones like lighter skin tones but when it comes to like darker models they usually have like maybe two or three which is kind of like we're tired of it like at this moment we're in 2019 like you guys should be up to date <laughs> there should be more more and more more diversity because you know beauty is just not one standard it's a variety you know everything in this world in this planet is a variety take a take a um, take fruits there's different varieties of fruit okay so why do we have to limit in the fashion industry to just one beauty standard is the beauty standard you know so I mean, it's, it is changing, I would say like 1% changing, but we still have the other 99% still need to change in the modeling industry. So, um, I, like I say, Ajak Ding, obviously she's facing, I don't know what what exactly the, um, what got her, but I'm sure it's like the problems she's bottled up for a very long time. In our culture, obviously, we're we're the type of people we're not like rude to anyone. Usually, we hold whatever our frustrations in because we don't express ourselves that much. It, it, part of the culture as well. But her being in the industry and yes, moving from Australia and having to leave her family all the way in Australia to pursue modeling, okay? And this is her dream. And to constantly having like, experiencing colorism, experiencing just prejudice in the industry. Like yes, she could be making a lot of money and no, she, can, she could not be making a lot of money. So, and especially, she's working especially come on img okay img really like you guys need to take this into serious uh a serious situation if someone is actually threatening their lives 
like they were gonna commit suicide obviously you guys are doing something horrible and y'all need to take a look in the mirror because y'all cannot do something like that something as horrible to a person like that to a point that they want to commit suicide okay obviously you guys have been doing it for a very long time and it's just kind of frustrating to see that now she's expressing her feelings to you guys and it's a very very serious matter that you guys contribute to um, obviously she did give an update okay she did give an update that she's fine and hopefully she is fine and I hope that IMG is really taking care of her so I don't know what the whole situation but again hopefully sis is fine hopefully sis get 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 talk to family like talk to your family you know obviously modeling is not gonna be like the end end game and you can pursue other things in life because you're such an inspiration to many people and i know that you are strong and stay strong so this is just my words to my sister jack dang out there you know hopefully you're doing good but the reason i'm making this video is like a lot of us a lot of girls like me girls with the same skin tone go through this every day I'm lucky, but I know for sure if I was in New York, I'll still be going through, you know, through the same situation as she is right now or any other dark skin model in general will be going through the same thing. I've experienced it a little bit here and it's always like, um, it's a, it's a cluster of a whole bunch of things, but it's like, as a model, you can't really speak your mind and say what you need to say because <laughs> you get, what do you call it? Um, how do you say it when you, when the industry doesn't want to use you anymore because you happen to speak your mind and you talk about the injustice that is happening and stuff like that. You just, they just block you in all your jobs that you're going to get or whatever. But yes, like, Honestly, again, like I say, is 2019, we're tired. Like, we're just really tired. Yes, why, you know, everybody else get to feel comfortable in their own skin, get to have the privileges that they want to, they get to have. But when it comes to us and we, we, we speak out on the unfairness and the treatment that we get, just because of the skin tone that you have, then it's like no that's not happening blah 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 but it's if many people are speaking about this then it's time that you really need guys need to change and i'm specifically talking to in the modeling industry that really need to change so sis i just want to say stay strong you know like you are so much more you are so loved and i know how unfair it is and it's very understanding and stuff like that but you know we love you and uh, you know shout out to anybody all her friends that are there for her and shout out for all the love that she got on instagram so hopefully she's doing great but anyway fuck it i'm just gonna be end up doing my own own uh, what do you call it agencies if if this if these agencies don't want you because you're dark skin and they don't want to represent you i might as well just model by myself like the industry is a cluster of people that are just so fucking ignorant like the industry itself need to like we need to be very diverse it, you can't just have one dark skin model two three dark skin model and say oh my god we're diverse oh my gosh we're so diverse 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 like there's a million million different looking black girls out here we're a variety there's a lot of us there's no reason why you guys just only have like five to four five or six or less more models it's so unfair so get it together and that's on top of that it's like so unfair how you guys are making money and and expect just the, just the aspect of bullying in general because like honestly like modeling is just hmm it's, it's all right it's all right like the people in the industry are just some people i'm not gonna say a lot of them because there's some people that are like amazing 
and then there's some people that don't even deserve to be in the fashion industry and like even be judging us models and stuff like that and the funny thing is like be the, it be the it be the fattest fuck one motherfuckers that be the one telling you to lose weight and to do this and do that when they don't know shit like so no i'm kidding <laughs> But anyway, you guys, like, that's a little bit of th thing, something I wanted to say about colorism and shit like that. We just want to, we are, I'm comfortable with my own skin, okay? I'm comfortable in who I am. Just don't make me feel like there is something wrong with me because of my skin tone. Well, I'm perfectly comfortable and I feel like I'm beautiful and stuff like that. But you limit my my success because of my skin tone because you want to make me feel like there's something wrong with my skin tone and i don't have i don't see the problem or anything wrong with my skin tones but the situations that you guys put dark skin women or just black women in general or darker complexion women like me the situations that you guys put us in you make it seem like there's a problem with us being dark skin like I'm comfortable I feel beautiful I feel fine as hell I feel like I'm on top of the world but your actions are what makes me feel like what the fuck is something wrong with me you know what I mean like I just want to be a comfortable just like how you're comfortable in your perky little white skin or your little light white skin just how you are comfortable and you get to live your Every day, everyday life not having to think about your skin tone I want to live like that not having to think about my complexion okay because me thinking about my complexion is because you're limiting me from having the success that I want to have that's what I'm saying I just want to be comfortable I just want to be left alone I don't want you to focus on my skin and making you know being having so much prejudice or racism or whatever you want to call it you know I want to live a comfortable life I want to be able to go and say hey I want this IT job and I'm gonna get it okay and not because of my skin tone hey I want to be I want to go model for this book blah 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 okay and because well, anyway I'm just gonna be talking too much but that's pretty much what I wanted to say I just want to say hey this shit is going a lot in the industry and it's time like you guys need to wake up and notice hey y'all this is a problem if someone is actually talking about committing suicide because of y'all IMG or whoever any other model in model management agency or management agencies or agencies in general mother agencies whatever you are and if your models are saying this then sis y'all have a problem y'all have a problem y'all gonna start having to take accountabilities anyway this is your girl dear i was just talking but uh, if you agree that this should change in this industry you know, if you don't want to support me because I say this, it's totally fine. This is your girl, Angier, and I thank you for continuous, continuously uh, subscribing and following my channel as it grows and stuff like that. I really didn't want to talk about this, but you know, sometimes she's like my sister. Even though, she, you know, I don't really personally know her. We are from the same tribe. She's from the Dinka tribe. She's from South Sudan. So technically she is my sister. And it's just kind of sad to see that this still go goes on since the decades of Alec Wek and it's still happening in the industry. And it's just sad to see her go through that emotion. I'm hoping IMG would change the character within the industry, change yourself and take care of your models better because at the end of the day these models make money for you you're in here for in the business with them so don't mistreat them that's pretty much what i wanted to say and the industry need to treat black uh dark-skinned black women in general uh a bit better okay like we are human too and this is just skin tone so yeah um again thank you guys for continuously subscribing to my youtube channel and continuously to be the best dark skin anyway this is your girl Andrew and I'm gone